out Jamaica, baby, they made me to be the greatest Serving the deed of my creators, fresh off of my high haters It's the king again, Magdalene, Sophie bragging and boasting Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video, and I'm going to be reacting to the deadly war that started UK Drill 67 verse 150 by the Kid Nerd. I like the Kid Nerd channel a lot. I feel like he does a lot of good documentaries. The last one he did was the Digger D. Lowski. I reacted to it. I don't know where y'all been at, man. Like, y'all haven't been watching the, the, the UK reactions, bro. You know what I'm saying? That was actually a good reaction too. That that Lowski versus Digga D video he did. So um, check that one out after this if you get a chance, man. Let's let's check this one out right now. UK drill has come a long way since its roots, from its underground and heavily Chicago influenced star to a now more commercial and cleaned up genre. If we was to tell people back in 2012 that 10 years later that drill artists would be getting hundreds of millions of views and be getting nominated for Brit Awards, they'd think you're crazy. But it's happened. Let's look into how the genre even started in the first place and how a deadly feud in South London got us all the way here. Let's get into it. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I watched something like about this that's similar. Offside Chicago, with some early artists to create the sound, being big Chicago rapper Chief Key, and the now deceased little Jojo in the early 2010s, which is a whole different story for another video. But it didn't take too long for London to start adopting the sound, with one of the first UK drill songs to come out in 2013, when a couple guys from a Brixton gang called 150 dropping a song called It's Cracking, which was a heavy diss track to another opposition gang called Sit7, who are from an area called Brixton Hill. Sit7 even came back with their own diss drill song using the same beat as the song it's cracking and named it it's frying but it wasn't always like this just a few years before this six seven and 150's area used to be cool these times six seven's area brixton hill used to be called bhb which was an abbreviation for the brixton hill bullies and 150's area which is situated in the brixton estate called angel town used to be called gas gang with both brixton hill and brixton only being separated by one road there are even some early tunes with both Sit7 and 150 members on the same track. But in the early 2010s, this all changed and parts of Brixton started separating. Stuff started getting patchy in the area in 2010. Around these times, Gas Gang, who are now called 150, were having back and forth with another gang located around seven minutes away in an area called the Lower Toast Hill. And the gang in that area was called TN1. But on July the 2nd, 2010, this back and forth took a turn for the worse. An affiliate of the TN1 one gang, a 15 year old kid who went by the name Little Zach, was making his way towards his pupil referral unit, which is pretty much a school for kids who have been kicked out of their mainstream school, normally for bad behavior. Unfortunately, mm. I've been to one of them schools before. Um, I think it was called Wildcats in the Bronx. It was literally across the street from Spofford, Wildcats High School. Yeah, that was like a jail, bro. It was like a pre jail. That shit, not even school, bro. You get kicked out like a regular high school and they put you in one of those, man. Really on some bad timing, five members of Gas Gang were also making their way towards his school before Little Zach could even get to his school gates. The Gas Gang members jumped out on him and with Little Zach probably being so terrified they're not thinking straight, instead of running into his school, he tried to make a break for it on the road. He managed to get around 100 meters away but was eventually cornered in the back garden and was yeah. repeatedly stabbed to death. This death was especially sad due to Little Zach just just a day before his murder, gave a speech at a London conference about how he wanted to leave the gang life behind him and move on. Little Zach also suffered from sickle cell, leading him to be very small for his age. Yeah, that sickle cell, I know um, Prodigy from Mob Deep suffered from that. I don't know the specifics about it, but I know it makes you weaker than normal. Like any little punch or attack can really kill you when you have sickle cell. Um, my whole thing is, is like, yo, bro, this kid, all right, he was a gang member, but did he have bodies for them to kill him? Like, why do y'all have to automatically go to stabbing and killing him? They could have beat him up and let him live, you know what I'm saying? But no, they had to just kill him, like, but who knows? Maybe he was doing stuff in the streets, but still, like, I feel like sometimes dudes be taking it too far, like. 
Five teenagers were sentenced for this murder. One being the big guy. They all teenagers themselves, so okay. That's gang rapper I thought they were the grown scene, men. Called JJ. He was actually identified, literally by his nose poking out of his hoodie on the CCTV. The murder of Little Zach made politics weird in the area, including people from Brixton Hill who are civil with both T and One and Gas Gang. This situation, alongside a few more situations, Everybody had to caused a massive divide between Brixton Hill and Brixton. Around the same time, the Chicago drill scene started popping off, with the whole of London being tuned in to big Chicago rapper Chief Keef, which started slowly influencing the UK rap game. In 2012, both Sit7 and 150 started to become more active in the rap scene, with Sit7 having a couple rappers like Scribs and Dimsy, and 150 having a few rappers as well like Sticks and Mdog, rapping on old school UK rap beats. But around 2012 you could already start to see some early influence, which started showing when 150 rapper Sticks dropped a song called Psycho in 2012. He starts the song off by saying so are any of these guys still around? All these rappers he's mentioning, because I, I ain't never heard of them respectfully. Baby. Which is the same way how Chicago rapper Chief Keefer start off his song. The following year in 2013, this developed into Sit7, making probably the first drill diss track, with Sit7 members Scribs and Monkey making the diss track towards 150 called Really in the Field. A month later, 150 rappers Sticks and Mdog came back at Sit7, with the drill diss track that I mentioned previous called It's Cracking. In 2014, more and more back and forth tracks between the two gangs continue and in the same year other gangs in south london start to jump on drill beats as well including sit seven jumping on the same beat as the diss track 150 aimed at them called it's cracking turning this into the first uk drill beef but this was also making the streets hot at the time and less than a couple weeks after sit seven dropped their diss track called it's frying it was clear that this feud was just more than music on february the 25th 2014 a sit seven member took a trip to Angel Town Estate, which is territory of the 150 gang, until he saw a member of 150 and started trying to run him down. A 150 mm. rapper who went by the name SQ just happened to be driving past at the time and spotted the altercation and tried to hop out of his car and help his friend out. When SQ approached the Sit7 member, he was stabbed multiple times with a stab wound hitting his heart, Ooh. leaving him in critical condition and sadly later dying from his injuries. Around the That's crazy. He seen his man getting into it, driving, and he gets out the car to help his man, and he ends up dying. You feel me? Like, rest in peace to that dude, because that's a real one, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, y'all be playing with the knives, bro. Like, that's one thing. Y'all different. Y'all be on some Jack the Ripper shit with them knives, bro. Like, and I know, because y'all can't really get guns and shit. And you know they say dudes that it takes a special kind of person to... Get up close and personal and poke somebody, but I think is I think it's worse getting stabbed than shot, bro. Real shit. You probably could survive more a bullet than a, a knife wound because you puncture the wrong thing. That's just painful too. Sad. Same time, Sit7 started gaining more notoriety in the music scene, mainly due to a rapper from the gang called Scribs. But at the time, Scribs was on a couple cases, which in 2014 eventually ended up with him being banned from making music. But this didn't stop him, with Scribs changing his name to LD and dropping the biggest UK oh, drill tune to come out at the time called Live Coon. This done numbers, and people in the UK that never heard of drill. So is that why he wear a mask? Because he wasn't supposed to make music anymore. So then he just changed his identity to something else. And that's why he's like who he is now. Okay. Yeah, LD, I, I, I'm tapped in with some of his joints, man. I ain't gonna lie. I only heard of it after this song, and this really put Sit7 on the map. After this, the group will get millions of views on pretty much anything. I know he was out, locked up too. 150 was out. starting to struggle for views, but while Sit7 was starting to pick up momentum on their track, the streets were also starting to heat up. In 2015, a Sit7 rapper called SJ ordered a minicab from Kennerton in South London to an area called Hearn Hill, also in South London. But halfway through his journey, his cab was spun 
done by police and once him and the cab were searched he was found in possession of a revolver and was sentenced to five years in prison unfortunately this was deep into when six seven started seeing success but this didn't really stop the gang's success and six seven really turned drill from an underground sound to a genre which will be listened to all over the country which was definitely clear when six seven was nominated for best newcomer in the 2016 mobile awards which was a wow. big statement for the genre but while six seven was starting to receive musical success 150 was starting to fall under the radar until a 150 rapper called m oh shit m24 my favorite drill rapper that's wild it's all making starting to make sense now so m24 is 150 ld67 um does m24 got beef with heady one too because I know he did the song with Tion Wayne and had he won beefs with Tion Wayne. Hmm. I need like, a, I want to see like a map of UK and I want to see where all the rappers is from on the map. So it could make sense to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then they got to color code it. Like these guys red versus blue, green versus orange. Like, so I can know the different gangs who they beef with and I could just see the area so it could make more sense. And all the, the rappers from the gangs 24 started to drop i know that should sound like crazy like some police ass shit but it's just so i could have an understanding more because i know a little bit you feel me but yeah. jump on the scene jumping on a feature with rappers from another gang in brixton called skangdo and am which done numbers and he really started putting on for his gang especially in 2019 featuring other members of his 150 gang on his songs getting tens of millions of views but while 150 was starting to rise up in the scene 2019 proved to be a deadly year for this war on march the 19th a 67 rapper called leaks was driving through clapham in south london with his brother now clapham is territory of a gang called CT who are closely aligned with 150 and also Beef 67. Leeks' brother who was driving at the time turned into a street called Clapham Park Road when they drove into traffic. Two members of the CT gang spotted Leeks in the passenger seat, one packed with a knife, the other with a walking crutch and started to pursue the car and tried to spin his whip to avoid the traffic and get away but unfortunately while doing this he crashed into a traffic light. One member of CT then lunged into the driver's seat while the window was open and stabbed why would you have the window open though bro like roll the window up y'all should have been put the window up lock the doors put the window up i mean he crashed the car but i mean why you couldn't just reverse the shit i don't know bro that's why in situations you can't panic bro because you make mistakes you got to be calm at all all times bro when you calm you won't make them you won't make mistakes bro Cause look what happened leaks his brother three times while the other members started whacking him with the walking stick the sit seven rapper leaks actually managed to pull a walking stick from the back seat and tried to protect his brother but in less than 10 seconds of confrontation it was too late and leaks brother sadly died from his injuries the saddest thing about his death leaks brother who was a father at the time wasn't, wasn't even involved. involved wasn't even involved bro in the gang life a couple months after this that's the worst. an 18 year old affiliate of ct called stomps was also killed and the six seven member called giant was convicted for the murder and sentenced to life around this time six seven started falling off quite a bit on music especially after two of their main rappers called asap and ld were locked up for a county line operation which was shipping crack and heroin from south london to more than an hour away in basinstow more six seven members were also booked in 2019 running different county land operations around the country and another six seven rapper called st just got sentenced to eight years for possession of a revolver it was starting to seem like six seven's time of being the king of drill music was now over at a time when 150 rappers like m24 and stick were starting to make moves in the music scene but while six seven was starting to become more quieter in the scene affiliates of six seven from a nearby estate called rupaul park were starting to make some noise on the scene 
scene with two rappers from the estate called VD and Dopey dropping a very rude song directed towards mainly 150 and CT called Local Shops. This song came with a lot of disses towards someone called S1. S1 was an 18 year old CT member whose life was sadly ended in August 2019. S1 alongside one of his female friends were walking through Brixton when they were approached by a RuPaul Park member who went by the name TY. S1 and TY were seen conversing on the street which ended with the pair going their separate ways. Around 30 minutes after the first altercation, S1 and his female friend were starting to make their way towards a nearby house and happened to walk past TY again. But this time, TY started to follow S1 and eventually approached him. This altercation was much more violent than the first which ended in a fight with S1 being left with multiple stab wounds and sadly dying from his wounds. But after the success of their I'll be feeling like again does everything have to be leading to death like why can't dudes just fight with their hands bro like fight with the hands bro put the knife down put the gun down fight with your hands bro like it can't all right yeah y'all got dead friends on both sides casualties of war but if you see somebody okay he's in another gang y'all both ops but y'all really never had any problems. It's just because affiliation. He ain't never really did nothing to you. You ain't never really did nothing to him. You know what I'm saying? Why automatically got to lead to death? Like, you know, it's just y'all one-on-one. Let's get it popping. The hands. Dude's just going to pull out a knife like... Their first song. VD and Dopey were starting to hit the booth more throughout 2019 and with RuPaul Park becoming more of a smaller bat, they were gonna start carrying the Sit7 name on their songs. But in September 2019, their music career was left on pause after VD and Dopey got into a situation outside the KFC in West London which ended with VD stabbing a 17 year old to death. VD and Dopey were both sentenced for this murder but Dopey ended up beating the case. VD wasn't that lucky though and he was convicted for the murder. By this time, Drill has started to become more commercialized and even though some other Sit7 members were starting to release tracks, they weren't really popping off as much as they used to. While the top Drill artists like Tion Wayne and Russ Millions were dropping more catchy and rhythm based Drill songs. Tion Wayne and Russ, are they in the same gang? And what do they rap? They're not 150 though, right? Six Seven were still dropping more lyrically based and violent songs, which wasn't really with the times in 2020. But this is where 150 rapper M24 really started to pop off, even jumping on a hit song with Tion Wayne called London. A new I might have to check that one. Rapper out. from Six Seven called PR started making some noise on the scene. Though. PR's from Six Seven. Oh, okay, I, I be acting to like two joints of PR. I like PR. Okay, and he got the mask too, like LD. But again, his songs are more lyrically based and also really violent, which ended with police taking down a lot of his tracks due to the feds saying that his songs were inciting violence, especially due to the spout of violence that was going on in Brixton at the time. But when we compare year by year crime statistics, Brixton crime has actually that video look cool right there. What song is that? She went down quite significantly, with it mainly due to the rundown estates in Brixton, like 150's block called Angel Town. Being knocked down and rebuilt with nice modern apartments making the area look almost unrecognizable from its former state but unfortunately the state still has a big issue with gang violence with it still being the area where 150 members reside and chill which also means it's a hot spot for enemies who are looking for 150 members to go to which was clear on august 20th 2020 around 6 pm on this day 150's rapper called sticks was celebrating his birthday on the angel town estate so a rapper called 16 shots who's from an affiliate gang of Sit7 took a trip to the Angel Town estate that day. When he arrived, he managed to find 150 rapper Sticks and stabbed him in his face. But when 16 shots tried to make an escape from the estate, multiple 150 members were catching wind to what just happened and started to chase him out the estate. But once the gang caught up to him, bro went on a mission and thought he was about to get off and look what happened. I mean, you in enemy territory though, bro. You know, like, you should have your escape route.
plan perfectly if you're gonna do something in enemy territory. The rapper's 16 shots were stabbed repeatedly, wow. leaving him with a total over? of 33 stab wounds all over his body in front of herds of shocked onlookers. Not too long after, paramedics and police arrived at the scene after multiple calls about the incident. When the ambulance arrived, they tried to treat the wounds, but because there were so many, paramedics had to strip him naked in front of the residents of the estate, with 16 shots constantly begging for a blanket to cover him up. But the medical workers soon realised that the injuries were much worse than they thought, so they had to airlift him to a nearby hospital where he sadly died later on. Sticks along with a few more 150 members were originally arrested for the murder, with some being released under investigation and some being released with no further action. But at the end of last year, after the feds had investigated the murder, another 150 rapper called Emdar alongside a few more members got charged for the murder and are currently awaiting trial. Emdar was actually quite a bit so what happened to Sticks? He don't make music no more? Big pioneer for UK drill music With him jumping on one of the first ever UK drill songs Which is sad to see him go out like that And with another triple shooting on the Angel Town Estate Last year on September the 12th Leaving an affiliate of 150 called Chino Dying Shows this beef has no signs of ending soon Despite both groups seeing musical success Nowadays UK drill is in a completely different place To how it was in 2013 With new age drill artists being judged more on their musical ability rather than what they've done on the streets but it's impossible to have a conversation of the pioneers of uk drill music without talking about six seven and 150's launch of the genre it's been your boy kid nerd and peace out all right man that was an interesting video my take from that is i hope nothing happens to m24 and i hope nothing happens to you know ld hopefully you know these guys can continue making music making money and uh the beef can calm down but you know, once uh, blood has been shed, it's up and stuck forever. But um, yeah, this was interesting. I want to see him do the Tion Wayne Hetty next. I need to see a video about that. Yo, Kid Nerd, man, I don't know if you see my videos, man. Shout out to you, bro. Like, I really, I think I like him more than Trap Ross. Trap Lord Ross, bro. You feel me? Because he actually just, I don't know. And I just rock with his videos more. But uh. Yeah, man. Um, shout out to all my UK subscribers. If y'all want to see all my UK reactions, I have a whole playlist with all my UK reactions so you can see what I've done. And you can tell me what I need to do. Now, I know there's some songs that y'all must want me to react to. It could be a classic, old song, new song, whatever, man. It's your boy Dollars, though. I'm going to holler him out. For my time goes by, they gon' raise a nigga jersey in the sky. Treat a nigga right, big dreaming on my life. Sure they wanna get some air, I go and get up when I fly. Taking off on these niggas, I retire. The minute I catch fire, I smoked them all before, just revisiting the high.